Hello everyone, welcome to NAS PK. I'm Sam. Today we will demonstrate the Q search of QNAP and the universal search of Synology and let you know more about the differences between the two functions. We will take these two models by they are defined as the same level products in the market. QNAP TS453BE and Synology DS918+. Both of the NARs are built with RAID 1 with two pieces of 2TB hard disk and I have put the same data in the test folder file and we have photos, videos, music, PDF file, Word, PowerPoint file in the folder and the size goes like 20 gigabyte. First, let's talk about the difference on the both of the system structures. QSearch is an app that you need to download from App Center and will start to sort all the files in your NAS once you install the app. So the more files you put in the NAS, the longer time you need for the first time sorting. When QSearch finish all the data sorting, you can search all the files in your NAS. For universal search, it is built in in the search bar in DSM system. For the first time using it, you will need to choose the file folder that you want to sort, and the NAS will start to sort the files, which means if you want to sort the files in other folder, you will have to get into the setting page of the universal search for each and many times separately. By the way, QSearch can also set the folder as no sort folder. Once you set it, the data in the folder will not be searched. Now let's try the actual speed of sorting the data file. We have around 250 megabyte file in this folder and all called candle. First, we will do some setting to make sure none of the two apps have finished sorting the file folder. Then, we start to sort the folder into the search list, and we wait until the QTS and DSM shows finish. And in this test, we can see that the QSearch takes around 24 seconds to sort all the files, and a universal search takes around 29 seconds. Now let's check on the searching filters. QSearch will list out all the conditions when we first sort in the files and make it as searching filters. So, even if you cannot remember the name of the files, you can also use the filters in the search bar to find what you want more accurate. And there are 40 conditions to the filter. We will take searching photos as example. When you click on the photos in the search bar, there will be a condition list that at the right side, such as file size, shooting date, color percentage, type of the camera and lens, ISO digit, exposure rate, and so on. You can also adjust the order to the filter. The numbers after each condition shows how many files reach the condition. Besides, we can also set the conditions as exclude conditions. As for universal search, you need to click on the microscope and click on each of the building list and type in the condition you remember, and you can search the photos. For this method, it's a little bit inconvenient because sometimes it's not easy for users to remember the camera type or some other specific conditions. The conclusion, QSearch will sort all this as searching condition for users to choose, but the universal search needs to type in the condition manually. By the way, QSearch also combines the web search syntax in the advanced search function. Usually, user will use this way to search the things such as A space B or A plus B. But when it comes to exclude or specific file type, many users don't know how to do it. The advanced search function in QSearch will list all the conditions in columns. So, just type in the condition and it will automatically generate the search syntax for you. With this solution, users can find what they need and more accurate in tons of their files. After we get what we need, Sometimes we will see many different versions, such as PowerPoint or Word files. Both of the skill search and universal search can provide strikingly highlight to show you the keyword. However, when we need to preview the data in all of the different versions, skill search can provide online preview from photos, videos, PowerPoint, Word files, or even 360 degree pictures and photos and you can easily share the files by clicking on the same share icon to create one share link, no matter it's just one file or many different files. For universal search, you will have to open the file station, and you can preview the files. So, 
If the files that you search are not in the same folder, you will need to switch from the file station and the universal search for many times. Besides, for the file sharing, if you want to share more than one file, the share link will also be more than one. This is also gonna cause me inconvenience if I want to share the files to others. Then let's take a look at the remote login devices. For QSearch, we have apps for smartphones, tablets. Just download it and log in into your NAS. Then you can use the same method to search the file and share it. Moreover, QSearch also provides expansion plugins for Google Chrome and Firefox. Just type in the keyword in the search bar of the two browsers, and there will be an extra window at the right side which shows the files in your connected NAS. You can also preview the file or even share it. For this solution, we also provide users to get what they want without logging into the NAS by Samba or the QTS system. As for universal search, there is an obvious difference that it provides only the search function now at DSN system only. So, no for smartphones, tablets, or web browser plugin. And if you want to know more about the differences in the demonstration between these two brands, you are so welcome to leave us a message below and we will do our best to help arrange a new video for you.